Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the ureter. The ureters are two muscular tubes that extend from the kidney to the urinary bladder and it transmits urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder. These are two retroperitoneal structures. The ureter has three constrictions. So, this is the ureter if you go there okay so this is the ureter extend from the kidney to the urinary bladder the upper dilated part of the ureter is called renal pelvis and it opens to the urinary, urinary bladder it has three constrictor one at the junction between the renal pelvis and the ureter proper another one where it crosses the pelvic brain over the bifurcation of the common iliac arteries. Another one in the wall of the urinary bladder, the level of the ischial spine, the ureter penetrate the muscular wall of the urinary bladder obliquely and it, that oblique passes inside the wall of the bladder forms a sphincter. Okay, so the ureter begins within the renal sinus as dilated part called the renal pelvis. Renal pelvis comes out of the hilus of the kidney and descends to become the ureter proper. The ureter descends over the first major muscle that is a muscle in the posterior abdominal wall enters the pelvis over the bifurcation of the common iliac artery into internal iliac artery and the external iliac artery and common iliac arteries are branches of the they are the terminal branches of the abdominal aorta it descends along the anterior margin of the greater sciatic notch it descends downwards and forwards and open into the base of the bladder at the level of the ischial spine so this is one ureter here opening into the bladder, beginning from the renal pelvis. Another one is here, this is renal pelvis, this is the ureter, and it crosses the bifurcation of the common iliac artery. And it enters the urinary bladder, base of the urinary bladder, and forms two points for the trigon inside the bladder, the level of the ischial spine. And this is the swas major muscle over which the ureter passes and ureter main function is is to transmit the urine in a peristaltic fashion and for the peristalsis the pacemaker is inside the minor calyces we have some specific non, some non-specific smooth muscle in the wall of the minor calyces and also major calyces that acts as a pacemaker for the peristaltic action of the ureter okay so here is the minor calyx it is told that this is the pacemaker its wall contains some non-specific smooth muscle and that may be also present in the major calyces this is the renal papilla here minor, minor calyx major calyces and the renal pelvis this is the ureter proper and the ureter is passing over the pelvic brim opening into the urinary bladder it passes over the swas major muscle. So its relationship in the pelvis, if you look in the female side at the cervix of the uterus, this is the uterus, it is related to the uterine artery. So this is very important clinically, especially for the gynecologist who do the hysterectomy operation when they put clamp there, they always take care of the ureter and the artery. These are closely related to the cervix of the uterus above the vaginal fornix. In case of male, the ureter, this is the ureter, it is crossed by the vas deferens. Here, this is the seminal vesicle, vas deferens, this is the ureter. This is the base of the urinary bladder. Blood supply of the ureter, if you go there, is because 
our ureter is very long structure around 25 centimeter 10 centimeter inside the abdomen 10 centimeter inside the inside the pelvis this is the ureter and this is the abdominal part of the ureter this is the renal pelvis it has many blood su supplies like that of the renal artery from the gonadal artery either testicular artery or ovarian artery maybe more than one branches from the aorta from the iliac artery from the vesical artery uterine artery vaginal artery in case of female so there are many from the even from the middle rectal artery both male and female so there are many arteries that supplies the ureter and we know that kidney is formed in the pelvis it ascends to this position during the embryonic and fetal life so the ureter is a long structure 25 centimeter it has many blood supply blood supply from the from the nearby arteries like from renal artery gonadal artery abdominal aorta maybe multiple from abdominal aorta and from the pelvic structure branches of the internal iliac artery okay not supply of the ureter ureters are internal structures internal organ therefore they should be innervated by the autonomic nervous system sympathetic from t10 to t to l2 maybe t11 to l1 okay parasympathetic s2 s3 s4 both sympathetic and parasympathetic are efferent to the ureter okay but the pain sensation from the ureter is carried by the sympathetic nerve okay like this green structure and going posteriorly through the posterior nerve root going to the posterior gray horn here also the somatic fiber goes there and the, this somatic fiber and this autonomic fiber will mingle at the posterior gray horn then it will ascend as the spinothalamic tract through the brain stem to the thalamus and the brain would interpret pain is coming from the somatic segment of the body that is the referred pain so if a person has a stone here a stone there he or she may might have pain from the loin to groin from the infrascapular region to the scrotum in male or to the labia majora in female even it may be in the upper part of the middle aspect of the thigh okay there is the renal colic and urinary colic colic means very much painful condition maybe due to obstruction of the urinary urinary tract maybe something wrong in the renal pelvis there may be some stone formation it may be oxalate stone it may be phosphate stone it may be calcium stone okay there will be pain and pain usually is from the infrascapular region passing along the lateral aspect of the lower part of the abdomen go may go to the scrotum in male may go to the labia majora in female even may it may be extend up to the upper part of the medial aspect of the thigh so the gentle branch of gentle femoral nerve iliangular nerve may be involved in male there may be positive cremaster reflex testis may be pulled up and there will be pain around the scrotum in female there will be pain in the labia majora okay so we have some viva bossy question what is the length and diameter of the ureter length is about 25 length is about 25 centimeter diameter 3 to 5 millimeter and the diameter is narrowest in the wall of the urinary bladder for it passes obliquely in the detrusor muscle of the urinary bladder what is the blood supply of the ureter there are many blood supplies from the renal artery from the abdominal aorta from the gonadal artery from the common iliac or external iliac artery from the branches of the internal iliac artery like the vesical arteries from the middle rectal artery from the uterine artery or vaginal artery in female for the nerve supply of the ureter nerve supply sympathetic parasympathetic sympathetic from t10 to l2 or maybe t11 to l1 
parasympathetic S2, S3, S4. Okay. What is the what are the relationship of the ureter in the abdomen? You have to remember that right side it is the second part of the duodenum is over the beginning of the ureter, and the ureter is passing over the swast major muscle. Ureter are retroperitoneal structure. Okay. In the pelvic region, it crosses the common iliac artery. Then it passes backwards laterally and downward. Okay. And along the upper margin of the upper margin of the greater sciatic foramen up to the ischial spine. At that level, it goes forward and downward and it opens into the urinary bladder. And the ureter is related to the uterine artery near the cervix of the uterus. And also ureter is related to the vas deferens at the base of the bladder in male. Okay. So it is very important for the obstetrician to take care of the ureter and the uterine artery near the cervix when they put a club. Okay. What is the what are the constriction of the uterus? Very important because kidney stone may be may be, may be blocked there. First constriction, the junction between the ureter and the renal pelvis. Renal pelvis is the upper dilated part of the ureter. Okay. So the junction between the renal pelvis and the ureter proper is the first constriction. Second constriction is where the ureter crosses the common iliac artery. Third constriction and the narrowest part of the ureter where it passes in the substance of the wall of the urinary bladder. Why there is loin to groin pain? That is referred pain because the sympathetic nerve carries pain sensation to the posterior gray horn of the spinal cord. In the same place, somatic nerve also go there. The somatic nerve and sympathetic pain carrying, carrying nerve will mingle there. It will ascend as the spinothalamic tract. It goes through the brain stem to the thalamus and the brain interpret pain as originating from the infrascapular region to the inguinal region to the labia majora in female to the scrotum in male and even it may be upper part of the middle aspect of the thigh that may cause positive cremaster reflex in male due to stimulation of the gentle branch of gentle femoral nerve and the ilioinguinal nerve in female there will be pain at the labia majora area innervated by the ilioinguinal nerve what is the what is the structure of the ureter it contains the muscle, the smooth muscle. We have longitudinal muscle, circular muscle, maybe another longitudinal muscle in the lower part. Lumen is lined by the transitional epithelium. Okay. 